What is up everyone, JK here and today we will be trying out Citadelum. My plan for this one is to just play the tutorials. So this can be a video that you can watch while you are playing um, and also while you are trying the tutorial. So we will be going through the From the Ashes and then we gather strength as we go part of this uh, game. So that will be the content of this video. So let's go. What I like about this game is the music. That's the first one that I noticed. It's it's soothing your ears. It's good to, you know, just play it out without putting music over it. So that's good. So yeah. Um, so from the ashes, Perusia 40 BC, a period of civil war is sparked by the assassination of Julius Caesar. So at the hands of a group of senators, so Gaius of Pavius Caesar, adopted son, returns to Rome to take revenge on the aggressors and confronts Lucius Antonius, brother of Marcus Antonius, in the city of Perusia. After besieging the city, he orders it to be destroyed in retaliation against the traitors. It's your mission to move there, together with a group of colonists, to start the construction of a new city under the name Augusta Perusia. So our goals for this one is to reach a population of 35, Send 75 marble to Rome and create one trade route. So let's start. Now, uh, so this will be my first time playing this one. So this is a blind playthrough. So we're reading through almost everything. Uh, so this is just the control. So uh, move the camera, rotate, and then zoom in and out. Now, we want to build a forum. So the forum is the center of your settlement and also the place where the resources of the trade routes are stored. In addition, all the buildings you construct will have to be connected by road to the forum. So we recommend that you build it near water and other natural resources you will need. So let's take a look at the map. So here we have some stone. Um, in our in our goals here, we need to we need to send seventy five marble. So I'm just looking around if we have any marble deposits. This is Probably clay, no iron. Then more stone here. It's another iron one. Stone. I'm not sure how to create the marbles. So maybe stone is just used in producing marble. As in, I'm not seeing anything that's just specifically says marble. So I think the best place to start is one with some stone and marble. So this one has some stone and a few marbles here. So I think this is the perfect spot since it's still quite near. A few iron deposits here and we have some stone around. So I think this is the perfect spot. So it says that there is a note there or a hint to start it or to put this one near a body of water. So the river here is perfect. And then... We want to build plebeian housing so immigrants will start to arrive, help you grow with your city and will perform all types of work. So we want roads connected to the plebeian houses. So we can, oh, is this, oh, a, build, a, a road is already built around it, so that's good. Now what I'm thinking is we want homes connected to the, uh, Close to the, I forgot the name of the building, but we want a road close to that. So we want four plebeian housing and we want this to be connected by road. So I think that is good. Reach a population of five. So where do we see that? Did, should I? Oh, so we just put it to two times speed. And then this is our population migration. There are currently two people migrating here. Okay, so the first plebeian arrived. Let's see. Let's take a look at the homes here. So when you're zooming in, you can see the interiors. Oh, there is a fire. So it looks like a fire is broken out. Let me help you. So he is our engineering advisor. Occasionally, a fire may break out. That's why it's important to build fire stations, which are responsible for extinguishing fires. In addition of the risk, to the risk of fire, buildings require periodic maintenance. If you don't want them to end up in ruins for this, you will need to build the engineer's post. Okay, if you don't take care of these aspects, buildings can collapse. This occurs 
If this occurs, you can use demolish to remove the debris. Good. So let's pause the game. And then let's take a look. We want a fire station. So I think I want a fire station a little bit more central. So can we build a fire station something along... Maybe along there, right? I think that is... Should be good. Since it's... It's coverage is almost the entire plot of land that we have. And then... It says here that it needs access to water. Does that mean it can get access from the river? Or do I need to build wells? Well here. Reservoir distributes water to nearby buildings when connected to a working aqueduct. So I think that is a little complicated. So I think just a well will suffice. And then we need a engineers. Where is that? Okay, so I found it. I just wasn't looking. So this is the engineers post. So the workers will be assigned here. Let's just read that one. The workers assigned here will keep nearby buildings in good condition. So let's rotate that. And we want them to be facing the main road. So I know you are a very busy person. So this will come in handy. Buildings do not have workers assigned to them by default. You must assign personnel to each building. But keep in mind that each will receive a salary. Okay. So to assign new workers to a building, select it and press the button to increase the hiring target. So select it and press the button to increase. Okay. So hire more people until it reaches the limit. If you want a building to have a high priority, you can set it by hiring priority selection section. You can manage all of this from the building detail view or through the jobs tab in the management window. In this window, you can see all jobs available. You can how many vacancies there are and how many people are working. In addition, you can easily increase and decrease the hiring target for each job. This way, you keep full control of what is being done in your settlement. Okay, so click here. We want two in the engineer's post and we want two in the fire station. You have already, you already have the necessary infrastructure, but without, fa without water, the, fire get, the fires cannot be put out. So some buildings need water to operate. For example, fire stations will not be able to put fires if they do not have water source nearby. I think that's oh so that the well is just a temporary solution i guess but do not worry thanks to aqueducts you can get water almost anywhere first of all you must build a water mill okay so a water mill next to the bank to raise the water so a water mill near the river transport the water you build aqueducts connected to the water mill once you, you channel the water to the desired area, you will need to build a reservoir connected to the aqueduct to supply water to the surrounding area. Ooh. Lastly, remember where you can build wells in specific situations where you need water in elevated areas where the aqueducts cannot reach. Keep in mind that it, the radius of influence that this of this will be much smaller than the than that of the reservoirs. Okay, let's let's explore that. So we have first you want a water mill so where do i want to place the water mill so i'm thinking we're going to be building the city here right so i think the best place is to have it around this side so maybe we can do this and then have an aqueduct oh, the prestige unlock so we have new buildings unlocked and plebeium amount we have 20 people already so i think we will also start building more homes but let's focus first on the aqueduct aqueduct so that is the aqueduct now is that the correct way to do it <laughs> water mill aqueduct and reservoir oh no no that's wrong so can i destroy that let's destroy those and then have the aqueduct or have the reserve was it somewhere maybe around that area okay 
Now that everything is in order, you should expand the size of the settlement. To do this, you need materials. So it's time to put your citizens to work. The construction of new buildings require materials that can be obtained from the environment. The logging camp allows you to gather woods from trees. Build it near a set of trees to get a higher yield. Okay, so we need the logging camp to be put in um, within the trees. And then you will be able to mine stone and iron with the stone quarry and iron respectively. So just near everything. Okay, always check the minimap as you can easily check. Ooh, okay. In addition, in order to accumulate resources, you must build warehouses. So that's a lot. Let's just follow this one. So let's build. Before we do that, let's fix this one. We want to fix the aqueduct here. Hopefully that's correct. Okay, so that's working now. Now we want to extend the roads. Okay. So I think that's good. Now we want a logging camp. So a logging camp is, I think, the best place to put a logging camp is maybe on this area since this might not be a place that we will be using a lot for homes and buildings. So can I do this? Is this connected to... Can this be connected to the main road? I think that's... That's good, right? That you can build rows under the aqueduct, so that's good. And then, let's build a logging camp. I think it should be around facing this. Ooh, maybe just up to that, and then we just want to build a road out. Maybe let's avoid destroying the trees, right? And then, so that's one, and then we want a stone quarry. We have stone deposits here. So I'm thinking uh, building the same around this area. Maybe something like this. Let's just... So it's up to here. Right? So we can probably build something along this side. So let's build roads here. Although that will destroy one tree that I was... Avoiding to be destroyed and then we want to build a warehouse with a logging camp inside the area So housing and services is it here? Granary Oh, so this is the warehouse And we can probably do the same So something like this will do Don't forget that you have to be aware of your inhabitants. If you only build accommodations for plebeians and don't find an occupation for them, they may cause trouble. Ooh. At the top of your screen, so this one, you will see all the information you need to know the status of your city. You can detect which aspects of your city are performing well and those that are lacking, so such as the number of unemployed or homeless plebeians. Try to constantly monitor this information to better manage your city. And make it grow prosperously. You can check the people's favors uh, indicator to know where, how you are performing. Okay. Ooh, so crimes could occur if the indicator is lower. And rights as well. So unemployment and homeless uh, also affects people's favor. If we have high values in these indicators, our people will migrate out of the city. In addition, you can consult the health indicators and the traditional needs of the people. Having low values can cause citizens to die. Finally, entertainment and religion, in addition to workers' wages and taxes on patricians, directly affect people's favor. So that's a lot. Now, um, before we do anything, we want to assign two people in the warehouse and in the logging camp. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. We want two in the logging camp and two in the stone quarry. I am pleased to see your progress. The time has come for you to take on another crucial task for your citizens. Food is a very important aspect of your of, for the inhabitants of the settlement and you must consistently monitor it. Without food, citizens are unhappy and may get sick or even leave the settlement. Make sure you always have food to supply the needs of your population. So to do so, you can establish different types of crops. Farms and fishing spots, uh, fishing boats, boats. You need to store in, you need to store the food in granaries. 
which you must build near the food production buildings. And remember, as with the storages, once you have food in the granaries, it can be used by any building in the settlement. So, build one wheat field. So, what I'm thinking of is, since that will be some sort of our industrial site, um, we can start building our city, extending it maybe up to there. And then, let's probably do something across as well. Something like that. And then, we want a wheat field. So, we can do it sitting in that perfectly in that corner. And then, we want to build a granary with a wheat field inside. So, let's... You know what? Let's put it not in the central part no the granary should be in the central part right so that should be facing the main road and then generate 30 of wheat using the wheat field okay so we can assign two workers there we can assign up to four workers there let's see um we have eight unemployed uh, citizens so maybe we'll just put uh, more just to make sure that everyone has a job let's do that now we only have three in the future we might have more build we might need more buildings to put so we leave the tree there for the meantime um you know what let's just let's just do this so that everyone has a job and then we'll just you know reassign people as as we need now you get all this food to the citizens, the market is a key to building. Okay, so you should place it near the housing of the plebeians and patricians and ensure that your citizens are well served with all food and goods they need. Make sure your granaries and warehouses have what your citizens need so that the market can so that market workers can deliver it to your house. So make sure your granaries and warehouses have what your citizens need. So does this mean it doesn't mean that it needs to be in the area, right? So the area effect uh, the area of effect here is for um the homes i believe the building is not operating because there are no workers assigned so let's put two there oh um can this wait <laughs> plebeians are not the only class of citizens who can live in our city patricians are citizens who do not work but contribute to the economy with their taxes. So for this to come to your city, you must build patrician houses. So their needs are much higher than those of plebeians. If you don't meet them, happiness in the settlement will decline, causing some of them to leave. Remember that the amount of taxes they pay affect their happiness. If you raise your taxes, you will raise more money, but their happiness decreases. Okay. So don't forget to build tax offices. Okay, so let's focus on this one first. We're going to have to assign some people here. So we don't have anyone un uh, unemployed at the moment, so that's good. But we also want to build patrician housing. So patrician housing should be within the area of the market in order to, for them to be happy. So let's go to housing and services and patrician housing here. And then let's build four the games wants us to build four then another one here so this should be good but no taxes are being collected from this residential house why why is that oh because we need a tax office okay so we have three we can build another one on the other side let's just build a road here okay then we want to build a tax office. So is it in the government side of things? Housing and services. Is it here? Tax office. Okay. So we want to build a tax office. Maybe on this area since all the buildings are mostly here. So let's do that. <laughs> Just to make sure that all the patricians are paying their taxes here. So <laughs> I think that's good. Reach a population of 30 plebeians. Reach a population of... 10 patricians so in order to reach the population of 30 plebeians i think we need to build more home um, more housing so i'm guessing this one is the perfect spot for that and let's do more here 
I think that is enough. No taxes are being collected. I'm not sure why. Oh, is it because we don't have... We have one employed citizen. So why is that? Why is that happening? Or do I need to unassign people? Like, let's do three there. We have unemployed citizens. So I'm not sure why taxes are not being collected. Hmm. We have four people who are unemployed. So... Why is no one uh, paying taxes here? Because of the zone desirability? Or maybe because of the resource requirements? Oh, they need... They have a certain desirability requirement here that we need to... Um, that we need to address. So should uh, we give them... No, no. Let's just focus on the task, right? We need 30 plebeians. We currently have 29. So there you go. That's 30. It is time for you to keep imp uh, to continue improving the city. The prestige level is an indicator of the importance of your city. As it increases, you will have access to more advanced buildings and some structures will automatically increase in level. Which favors the arrival of new settlers to the settlement. To check the prestige upgrade requirements, place the pointer over the prestige area. Uh, and you will be able to see which buildings you will unlock with it. So at the top left of the screen, top left, so this one. You'll find more information about your city in addition. Okay, so this is the prestige level. We're currently at the prestige level 2. So we want to reach prestige level 3. So in order to do that, what can we do? Do we do I need to add some decorations? Maybe a garden. Something like this. And then I noticed that they also want some kind of well. Oh, the, the reservoir is... The one that they need. <laughs> but we'll definitely need cabbages and melons and cabbages. So we can also do that. Melons. Where is the farm? And then we want cabbages here. And let's assign four. We still have two people who are unemployed. So let's put them there. Maybe there. Okay. That's good. Everyone has a job. We need to reach 40 Libyan population. So we can probably build around this area. And then put more Libyan housing, Libyan homes. Okay. We're, build we're just building in advance. Since we'll definitely need more housing in the future. Where are plebeians? They're, they're still using this even though there isn't a road there. So I think that's good. Our prestige level of 3. We just need a little bit more. Okay, so we, we will reach the, the prestige level by increasing or by completing the 40 population requirement. So we're good on that. We'll just have to wait a little bit. Okay, so there you go. If the minutes, I am Marcus Drusus, military delegate of the Senate, and I am going to supervise your action on the map. It seems the city is starting to develop, and it is not all about working in the settlement. You can explore the territory and secure your military dominance over it. Visualize your territory on the region map via the button in the surface, uh, the interface. So in this map, you can see your city and also the territories you have explored. So, ooh, so I like that there that you can explore more than just where you start off so it's kind of a huge map already but having other territories is also a good um aspect of the game so to move an explorer select it and choose one of your adjacent territories if an explorer finds an enemy army there's a chance that he will be killed so let's play it one and then is this is my explorer so this is our territory we have some farms here so there might be some people there and then we also have some small structure there so let's click on our explorer oh is it this is like sieve right <laughs> so he has he seen anybody I don't think he did 
Discover the city of Vetona. Oh, maybe it's this one? No, still not. Also, oh, there's a lot of buildings here. Not sure if we can do anything about those buildings. Hey, okay. can we go somewhere else? What's this? One building has collapsed. What's happening in the city? Discover the city of Vitona. Oh, they're still uh, looking. He's uh, looking because I think there's fog there, so that might be an issue there. Are we repairing this? Okay, so we're already rebuilding that. Why is... Oh, I think the issue I forgot is that we want an engineer's post near this one as well. Since engineers are the ones who fix buildings, right? So I think we need four there. Might need for here as well. Still have a lot of people that has no job. So two more. Can we get this one to four? Okay, that's good. Let's go back to our explorer. Still exploring this one. Hopefully we can finish that one. Let's go for a three speed that might be faster. There's been one theft. So I think since crimes are happening, I think this might be um, an issue with the people's favor that we'll have to check after completing this one. Well, now that Vitona is connected to receipt settlement, you can trade with them. To establish a trade route with another city, you must specify which resources you want to buy and sell each day within the constraints of supply and demand. The card you see on the map of the region is a visual representation that indicates a trade route between two points. Keep in mind that trading operations will always take place at the beginning of a new day, so it is important that you keep an eye on your economy, daily income, and expenses. When you receive a delivery of trade resource, they will go to the forum. At this point, the payment will be made. For the operation to be successful, the, po the forum must have space available. Your and your coffers must have enough money to pay the operation. Remember, you can build warehouses, granaries, and armories near the forum to make sure it clears reserves. Likewise, to export resources, you must make sure you have enough of them in your city storage. So in the trade section of the management window, you can choose the amount of resource from which you are allowed to export. Okay. I think we can recall you. And then let's go back to the city. Uh, there's been one left. How do I go back to this city? Uh, do, I, do I just click it? No? Oh, wait. <laughs> what is happening? I need to go back to the city. Oh, we want... Uh, oh, we have marble here. We want to trade marble here. Though we don't have money. We're losing money there. Is this... Patrician taxes are 500. I might need to ha to need to trade for this in the future since we we need to. Oh. So it's already here. Buy 75 marble for a trade route. We want 75 there. Um, let me just go back to my settlement. Now what's happening is we are losing a lot of money, and then the taxes are not enough cover the expenses that we have so i'm thinking just um building more patrician homes so the patrician homes are or the patrician people are the one who are paying taxes for us so i think we need that um we need more of them in the city although we also want to satisfy their needs so maybe we can do something like that for decoration then we can add some trees this might make everything better for the patricians i'm not so sure uh, desirability is still low i don't know how to increase it but i don't think it's covered in the tutorial so let's just wait for that and then let's play the game um we have any we have a lot of space here so i don't think 
we we will have issues accepting the trade from the other from Vitona since we still have a lot of place to sort this one I just want to complete this road it looks a little funky there so I think ooh, what's happening is anyone fighting no it's just, it's just the sound of people working you know kind of like how the people look you know they're working around going to mining the stone deposit here cutting trees planting them i also forgot to put something else i want a fishing post do i have that this is a fishing dock and we don't have a, we don't have the resources to build that so i don't think we that's uh that's part of our um i don't think that's part of our options at the moment oh send 75 hours sent to rome so we can already send this to rome and we are done with the first part of the tutorial you have completed all the objectives of this mission rome awaits you go to the capitoline hill to start to start the victory parade followed by your best man and celebrate the success that's it that's very good and we are done with the first part of the tutorial now this video has gone over 30 minutes for me i'm not sure if um we should continue so maybe we can have another video for this so we'll, maybe we'll cut it in two videos the first part of the tutorial and then the second part and then we'll go from there okay so thank you everyone uh, i'll see you in the next one i'll definitely uh we'll continue playing this on a different video okay thank you everyone for watching if you enjoyed please do leave a like subscribe and comment down below if you have any feedback or things you want to see from the channel thank you everyone and see you in the next one